Right, so for Thunderstruck, we're all gonna just gonna be working on the B string. So if you wanna get good at it, just practice some up and down strokes on the B string. So for this, you're gonna need your index finger and your little finger. And the first thing we're doing is we're going between the fourth and the seventh fret. So we're going like this. Then we go to the fifth and eighth fret. Okay, let's try it again. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, etc. And that's over top of a B chord. Now, you can play it with a pick. You can also, if you want, if you're advanced, do some pulling on and pulling off. So you can not even use a pick and go. But in the actual song, I'm pretty sure Angus just picked the whole lot. And on and on it goes. So uh, take your time with that. If you're a beginner, just take it real easy. Okay, right now, Billy Jean, now you guys will be familiar with a really cool bass line that goes. do the guitar part that comes over top. So this is all going to take place on the E and B strings here and it sounds like this. Really easy. So we've just got B string, second fret and E string pushed together. Maybe do an upstroke so you get more of the E string. And then we're going to go fourth fret. We're going to go fifth fret. And make the fourth fret. So we've got And just for fun, later on when it goes to the second part of the verse, it just goes to seventh fret and goes. So we're gonna put in context, we'll go like this. You said her name was Billy Jean when she crossed the scene. You hit them out in a nice and green. She was the one who danced on the floor in a round. Yeah. <laughs> Right, the old friends theme. So this is pretty easy too. It um, sounds tricky when they play it, but it's pretty easy. We're just gonna play the A string here. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a pull off here on the B string in the second fret. And we're gonna go. Right, so we're gonna go two, two. Now you can play it with the pick and go. If you want to, or you can just drag your finger off. So to do that, you play the note and just pull your finger down and sort of on an angle this way, sort of that way. And you'll find the string will just pop out from under your string, under your finger. So we've got... And then we're going to go to the second fret on the G string and go... And then to open, so... Two, zero... And we're going to go zero again. And then we're going to fret here, second fret on the G string. So first half. Let's try that again. Right, okay. So second half is... So to do this, you're going to play the G string, second fret, and then slide up to the fourth. So you can play it again with your pick. If you want to, or slide it. So in total, this is what we've got.
right, okay, so chasing cars, really easy. Index finger, again, we're on Light Smoke on the Water, and Believer, we're all on the D and G strings, the middle ones here. And we're gonna go seventh fret, index finger, ninth fret on the G. And we're just gonna be plucking them. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna be playing an A flat over A, with an A bass, so this just slides down. So it it uh, infers an E chord for you guys who like to know what key, key chords are afterwards. So we're going from here down to here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna to go to a D chord, just take this finger off, because it's gonna be open D string and your finger still stays here, seven on the G. And then we finish it off by going back where we started. And yet another song that occurs on the G and D strings. Come as you are by Nirvana. So um, let's have a listen to it. Right, really easy. So we're gonna go zero, one, two on the D string. And then we're going to jump between the G and the D string and go. So zero, one, two, zero, two, zero, two. So that's part one. Cool. And then second half, we're going to go two, one, zero, back down there again on the D string. So then this finger is going to go back here to the second fret on the G and go. Pluck that G and then go twice on the D and back to the G. That one there. So we've got. Right, lose yourself. It's a bit like the start of Got You by um, Split Ends. So this is really easy. Again, we're on the D and G strings once again. Um, and what we're doing is we've got our finger in the second fret on the G string. And we're going one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just moving that one string, one fret I should say. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now, one thing the guitarist who plays it does do is he palm mutes here. So this is a bit advanced, but you work on to practice it. So to palm mute, you put your hand here. Let's wing it out of the way. So right here, you can see the strings. You put your hand right where the strings join the bridge. And on acoustic guitar, it's the same thing. So instead of sounding like this, it sounds like this. Right. So you very, if you go too far, Gonna get choked. Bring it back. Anyway, so that's how the groove goes, and we go. And we do it four times. And if you want to, right at the end, there's a little trip where it goes. Three zero two zero on the G string. Three zero two zero. Now you might have noticed there I put a little trip between the two of them, so you can go. So I'm just going. Take my finger off and then down. A few advanced guys out there. Sunshine of your love, here we go. So um, again, <laughs> this is happening a lot today. 
um, a lot of the riff happens on the G and D strings. So here we go. <laughs> Right, so let's go the next one, the front pick up for this. So we're gonna go um, seventh fret on the G string, and we're gonna go from seven to five on the G string. Piece of cake. And when you finish that, stop your pick on the string. And relax your finger here, it's gonna help stop the note. Next bit here, we're gonna go to the D string, and we're gonna go seven, six, five. And then on the D string again, we're going to go zero, three, zero. So we've got. That's the first part. And then the second part does the same thing here at the beginning. Seven, seven, five, seven. We do this little descending chromatic thing. And we jump up to the B string, and we're going to go eight. Five, uh, six on the B string and then finish back on good old seven on the G. Now I'm putting vibrato in, I do that naturally, but um, just because I can't help it, but you can do it or you don't have to. So in total we've got.